So you referenced Sing Muli, the director of the film, who was uh, making his debut feature film. What was it like working with the rookie director? Uh, well, he, he uh, uh, was very specific, uh, which I loved, um, and, um, and, and very helpful in, in creating this, this magical world for me. Because a lot of it was green screen. Um, so I didn't really know uh, where I was a lot of the time. He would say, uh, you know, shoot light 26, <laughs> uh, which was a stage light. And I'd be, yeah, well, what is it? What is light 26? All these ninjas will suddenly appear. Uh, um, so he was, he was very helpful uh, at, uh, at uh, creating that uh, magical world for me in my, in, in my imagination, uh, and therefore for me to convey it as a, as a reality from the character's point. Okay. And let's talk about a little bit about working with your cast members, specifically the, the one who scarred you, Kate uh, Bosworth. K yeah. Kate Bosworth is responsible for, for scarring me. Um, and uh, she's like this uh, desert, wild desert flower um, for the Colonel. Um, and uh, he, uh, he's romantically obsessed. And, and as, as Danny Houston working with, with, with Kate, uh, she was just such a trooper uh, with, with uh, the action sequences, these sword sequences that we have, uh, where a certain amount of, of trust is, is, is necessary. Uh, and we were very excited to be able to do a lot of the stunts um, together um, as actors. And yes, you need a stuntman every now and again to to, to make your work really sore, but I would say about 90% of the action sequences um, belong to us, right. both Kate and I. Right. And uh, also making his debut, but this time you know, in a non-Asian language film, is the Jang Dong Gun, who plays Yang. What was, what was it like to work with him? Uh, Jang Dong Yang Gun is, is like a Clint Eastward for me. He's, he's, he's got this wonderful face, which doesn't have to uh, act or overly act or over, oh, he doesn't have to overly express his sentiments um, he's uh, he's able to convey a moat uh, emotion uh, from 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 an internal point point of view um, which for me is is perfect for a western where you want to cut to that close-up um, and see your your protagonist and understand what he's feeling uh, without uh, even so much as a, as a twitch um, he also has this great relationship with this kid in, in the film, which is uh, an infant, um, which is very minimal as far as expression. And, and in a way, uh, actors are all sort of tinkers, gypsies, and, and we, we all come from God knows where. I, I certainly don't know where, where I, I come from. So, so uh, working with somebody who, who uh, belongs to another a world, in, in a sense, is, is, always, is always exciting. And the common ground is, is the acting. And um, when uh, he would do something that was kind of cool, or I, or I would, uh, there'd be this look between us. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, brought me very close to him as a person. Um, you described your characters, the colonels, becoming delicious. Is it more fun to play a villain? Well, you know, villains are, are, are something that you can really kind of chew on. Um, and it's, it's fun to take a scalpel out and, and, and prod them and see where it is that they feel. Um, and of course, villains don't necessarily uh, think of themselves as such. Um, they have uh, very good reasons uh, for doing the, the, uh, the evil, psychotic things that they do. Um, so it's, uh, it's always fun, and they're, they're always complex. And, and uh, uh, heroes um, can be uh, uh, really... Uh, a tough thing to play because you're you're you're, you're you have to be more sort of single-minded in your in your portrayal, uh, where where villains have so many uh, uh, edges and corners and places that you can go to. So they're they're, they're a lot of fun. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Great meeting you. Guys. Good meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Good meeting you again. Again.